So anyway, part eight shouldn't have went cool. I had been under unnatural amounts of societal exploit all over my shit. And having come from a professional background, it was ludicrous really. Such a instant pushing bully and hard knocks fall from grace by pricks that don't listen to your words and make you lose your voice for years. Lose your voice for years because you say, leave. There are people in this community that are just wrong. And they do things to you that make you wrong. And then when you're just at Unity March, just having a day out with yourself, filming the Unity March, never picked up a pen that day, just observing, because what is a Unity March? Really, people playing jungle is massive, having a trying, attempting to have a good time. And then you're making your way home, and it's how do you fancy spending the night in the cell, da 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 da. And it's just like provocation from your tax paid for, bought for force. And I just squared and screamed in 24 hours in a cell and went to court, shouldn't have went to court. But that was as a result of a sort of like tag teaming horrible experience really getting to my core to respond in such a way when I should have been like, yes officer. I, as an SIA trained security person, do not provoke drunk people. I use all my open body language and palms. So I know that this is a crime being committed in a uniform. It's like, imagine the world like an establishment. That would be considered intimidation, harassment, provocation, threat, intimidation, all in a uniform just because you are vulnerable because you are drunk. You are vulnerable because the government says that drug is okay. You're right to walk about vulnerable because it gives our blues and twos a chance to just bully you in the establishment schoolyard. So basically that's my relationship with the law system. It corrupted and falsified my CRB by saying Religious racial aggravated harassment in words and writing causing alarm and distress for a basic D&D. &D. So this is where it starts to get deeper. And like, oh, don't be the victim. Just shine on through, through this slander and defamation of character. Just shine on through for it, even though it's going to get all these camps riled up about you, thinking what, what, what. How malicious of the system. How awful. So it's like this, I think, that has enabled this particular girl to have the authority to throw me in a cell for 48 hours to send her a birthday card. But there's one relationship that I'm going to talk about just before her. Just before her. Four years.